Welcome back to Quad Cities today at 11. It's time for Kyle's Weather Classroom and the return of Weather Word Wednesday. And today's word is heat lightning. And to my surprise, it actually shows up in the NOAA glossary, even though it's not an actual type of lightning. It's just a myth carried from generation to generation. When you hear the sound of thunder, chances are you're also seeing a bolt of lightning. But what happens when you see lightning but don't hear the thunder? You may have heard this called heat lightning. The term heat lightning is in the NOAA glossary, defined as lightning that occurs at a distance such that thunder is no longer audible. However, it's not an actual type of lightning. Simply put, all lightning strikes come from a parent thunderstorm. If you aren't able to hear thunder but see lightning, you are located far away from the storm. In fact, the sound of thunder can travel 10 to 15 miles away from a thunderstorm. Beyond that, it's inaudible since the speed of sound is much slower than the speed of light. So on a clear summer night, you might be able to see flashes of lightning from a thunderstorm that is up to 150 miles away in some cases. If you hear thunder, you're close enough to a thunderstorm to be struck by lightning. A good rule of thumb to remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. Kyle Keel, TV6 News.